you got to you got to actually you know set back and go back to who you are yeah i understand that but i mean that should not uh, i don't know it's a phase sometimes you have to sit back and like realize who who you are and then the, it's time to go out in the sea and like go fish i understand that but when you go back out there Mm-hmm. Don't be stubborn. Be like, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna sit around here and see what female will come to me. That's just why. That's not attractive. Why? why? So we're what supposed to continue hollering and get rejected and rejected and rejected. This is no, why. This no. is where the front thing comes in at. My guess is, if I'm approaching somebody who is waiting for me, then I mean, it tells me he wants to call all the shots. It tells me he wants to be a control. How do you get that? If you're just sitting back and like waiting for somebody to come, how do you get that? that that's interesting. Control and, and, and calling all the shots. <laughs> I'm just saying that's what I would <laughs> that's feel. What you read? Yes, that's what Honestly? I would feel. That's crazy. That he that he's not gonna take any bull. That he's just going to run the shots basically. In the he's not gonna even worry about. He's not gonna like you or me. Only if. What I say is what he wants to hear. That's basically what I would feel. It's not true, though. It's not true. No. Nah. Because you, 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 like, you don't know. Like, just because that guy is on, like, a, a level where he's like, I'm not going to holler at a woman. You don't, like, the way he treats it ain't got nothing to do with. Right. But the way you were portraying it right here, I would think that. Why? Like, I'm not going to talk to a chick. Your attitude, right? How yeah, you were saying that's it. how I, I honestly am. I don't like I, you see how you got guys that get on a train. The first they, they look and they scour the train, they, they, they're out there like mm-hmm. downtown book right down the block. You know, mm-hmm. you walk down the block. I bet you before you get to Duffield, 15 people done tried to either grab your arm and say, Hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm not gonna be one of the 15. I'm not gonna be oh, none that's of them. That's a different people. story, then. You see what I'm, I'm not that's a different story. What you said, I'm though, not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna try to holler at none of them. No woman down, no no woman, period, at this point. Because, for one, there's plenty of dudes that I know like me, just tired of even trying at this point. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I just, it's basically like a, a let it just happen situation. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah. could be out and about, and, oh, all right, this is, I can partake in this conversation with this female, maybe. Mm. I see, I see. But jumping out the that's window. That's real genuine, yeah, that's real nice. You know, jumping that out sounds, the window. That sounds something I would want to hear instead of just like, I'm going to try to bag every chick in here yeah, type that, of language. That, and that's where, that's where a lot of guys like, fail. Yeah, they, they feel like, you know, I, let me just jump out there and holler. Like, like that's not what's going to. But there are females who like that, though. There are females who like that. There are females who love that attention and love that kind of act. There are. But the long run is that they find each other, from my experience, Mm -hmm. you find each other in a domestic, violent relationship that is, they're holding on to that first, like, first moment when they met. And, it's, and they're fighting for it. They're fighting each other for it. That's because they done lost themselves within that relationship. Mm. Not knowing what your stand, they forgot what their standard was before, you know? Like yeah. they, they met that person, they had a certain standard. After they got with that person, they probably relaxed on that standard a little bit. <laughs> then got lost in that situation. You find yourself just going back and forth bigger and you, and you knew, like, hold on, there was something about this person that I said, wait, 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 mm. that I forgot. I let my standard down, and now, look, that's why I feel like you have to recognize all of that within the person before you, like, like to build it stronger. You have to, you have to sit there and, and go through certain things in a relationship. So, like, I, I feel fronting is kind of mandatory. Mm. I feel like, like, like you should, you, you should in the beginning. You, you, really? You, you shouldn't you shouldn't just jump out there and let them know everything. You, you, like I honestly feel like fronting, you should do that in the beginning. It, no, that's not that's not it, it, it's not fronting whole being polite and no, and having see, courtesy to to not to 
tell your whole life story on just one person. That's being polite. It's not being a front. You know, if I'm going to sit down and be like, how you doing? How's your day? You know, talking about something else instead of like, yes, I'm interested in women. I want to go. I want to date. Do you want to come to my place? Like, it's just being polite just to have a normal conversation, it sounds like to me. You know how you know how, you know how a dude think out there when he see her? Yeah, she bad. I'm going to get this. Huh? I got to get this. See what I'm saying? That's 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 what, what the age group you said, 18 to what, 21? Yeah. That, that's what they... <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a lot of college boys that have like these bets. Exactly. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna see how many women I can get. Oh but yeah, I got. I gotta get this amount. I gotta do this. I have to do that. I got. I got. I gotta get with this many chicks by this time because so that I'm, makes me the man. So I'm wondering though. Mm-hmm. If 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 we women wake up and realize and be aware of this act how that would affect the act, the game, you know? How would if it we is? if we don't put up with it, if we women who love that attention don't put up with it, I mean I think that's the only way men will get it through the head that that doesn't I feel lie. like I feel like maybe that's happening. Right. Now because there's a difference from when I used to be out running around dealing with whoever can't do that no more. Mm. You can't just approach a female like that no more. You have to have like a like a politeness to you if you like like if you want uh, what I call a a woman, mm-hmm. not a little girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a woman. You have to. Th- there's a certain boundary you cannot cross. Like, and you have to. Like to me, honesty is always the key. Recognizing certain things is always the key. Dealing with every issue that come up within that, like your relationship, you can't, like that, that's where the conflict come. You got to be able to face every situation head on. And a lot of women know these guys ain't, that's not what the guy thinking about. Mm. He's probably got two agendas. What she could give me and what I could get out of her. Here's a question that's just, I just really want to ask you is, um, because we were talking about this whole act, like, mm-hmm. has a woman ever, like, called on, like, a flaw, or, like, a habit or something that she just didn't like? Plenty of times I've like been what? in that. Huh? Like what? Like, I might have I might have said I, I, I was like this in the beginning of the relationship, right? And. What's this? I Go can't ahead. Really, I even really put it out there like that, you know. <laughs> but, you know, I, put it like this. Get money, right? <laughs> Get money. Ask me if I work. Yeah, I work. Mm. When, later on down the line, you know, she's telling me I don't like the street guy. I don't like the street guy. Then she finds out, oh, that's the street guy. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Things like when. But how can she be that? I'm sorry, but how can she not know that that was who you were? This is how I carry myself. So I need to see this. So like. How were you dressed? How how did you portray yourself to, My to pants hide that? Sad. How I just to, to to hide that? When I'm around her, you don't know nothing about this. Everything is is a totally different. It's totally different mm-hmm. until she walks out that door. See, when she walk out the door, the pants go down, the fitted go low. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? When she's around, I clean up nice. I pick up, fix up, and I'm you know that's protocol for fronting mm. because. This is my lady who I'm trying to impress. But see, when you get she, used to a person and she comes in your house and you're just so comfortable around them and you're moving around how you normally move and you forget that, uh, oh, I forgot to fix myself. To, is she? This you know, sounds like a movie. But this is real life. This is reality. Yeah, but it sounds like a movie, like some superhero come, <laughs> no, coming no, back is, with their is, disguise. You know how many dudes you, that you meet that are like that? On a daily basis that you would never know is like that? The, they don't put on that mask. They wear it. So I know that that's who they are from the get-go. You see what I'm saying? But it's a mask that they're wearing. Right. See, nobody never knows when that mask comes off. And as I said, they only get to see half of you or that part of you. Well, who it's not. It, I mean, she's going to base her whole life. She's, she's going she's gonna to have this, this fantasy about this, this, this I don't know. 
50% of this guy that I think I know. And then that is where confrontation comes. Because when the more she knows about you, who you are, she's just going to... The more that that's the, the more she's going to... She's going to flip. Separate herself from you. Yeah. Unless she's willing to understand and accept it and cry river and move over it. So another question. How many times or how many tries did you have to do this to realize that it's not worth it? I can't do it anymore. Like, they're going to find out eventually. There's no point. When me as a person start feeling like this is a waste of my time, this is pointless, and uh, I get nowhere. I've been through this many relationships, and where, have, where has it landed me? It has landed me in arguments, uh, all types of, you know, mm -hmm. violence with women, mm -hmm. you know, and... Um, and I bet you it's on some small stuff. It's not even on big stuff. It's principle. Like basically, why would you do that when you, in, like you say, honesty would have been the best way from the beginning. And once that kid's thrown in your face a couple of times, you have to sit back and realize, like, I'm not getting younger. I'm getting older. I can't keep playing this game mm. with people because mm -hmm. the worst thing, the worst thing is when a female play that game on you. And that's what happened. To you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when it happens to you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it's a different ball game. It's a totally different ball game. When, when, when a female does unto a dude, what a dude does unto a female, a dude can't take that. He can't take that at all. Wow. So you didn't like it? No. No. <laughs> Well, the reason, let me tell you the reason why I ain't like it. Well, why? Because I ain't even recognize it when it was happening. That's, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So once, once a guy, a man goes through that, it's, it's either it's going to make him or break him. Plain and simple. Either he's going to keep doing what he's doing or it's going to break him all the way down and make him say, yo, you know what? This is crazy. Or it's going to turn him into a, a, a ten times worse than what he was. Like, you know, uh. Like you say, I'm going to treat him like more than meat now. All because that. So you're saying that it took a woman to do what you do to set you back and realize that you can't do it anymore. I can't honestly sit there and say that because I still play around every now and then because I am oh, yeah? a man. I'm still young. I'm not married. You know what I'm saying? But and I, I, I'm, like, I'm always open to certain situations. But I, I, I told myself... If I was ever in a relationship, again, like a serious relationship, I would not play no games because I can't at this point, just on the fact of me being older. And that's just honest. So you said that like you still fool around, you still front, like because you're single. No, I don't. I don't front. I let them know. If, hey, listen, I deal with this one, this one, and you. Okay, so you you go out because you're single, you still fool around. But it's all honest. All honest. Honest based. Listen, I'm not going to deal with you and you don't know about this one and this one don't know about you. Because I don't need no conflict or no drama right now. Like, period. Like, honesty is, what you going to do? What you going to do? Honestly, as a female, there's only two things you can really tell me at that point. Either you're going to deal with me or you're not going to deal with me. Mm-hmm. I got to deal with that. I got to deal with you. I answer. wouldn't deal with you. I would be bye. You see? Bye. Yeah. So that's that's a good theory on relationship. There's a lot more to say, a lot more to argue, but that's good. Yeah. And that's it. So, folks. <laughs>